So we are in still in graphing linear functions, real life application. في رسم المعادلات الخطية ما زلنا في التطبيق العملي في الحياة العملية مسائل كلامية. Rashid has 3,000 درهم in his account. في رصيد راشد 3,000 درهم في حسابه. He spends 250 درهم each week. ينفق 250 درهم أسبوعيا. Write an equation to represent Rashid's balance. نكتب معادلة تعبر عن رصيد راشد اللي هو y after x weeks بعد x weeks يعني x أسابيع. So y هو حسابه اللي في حسابه ما تبقى y equals to عنده already he has already three thousand he is spending so decreasing by minus two hundred dirham and fifty two hundred fifty dirhams per week أسبوعيا so we will write the equation in this way now if Rashid does not deposit any amount ما أضاف إلى رصيده أي شيء after how many weeks so x is equal to what after his balance رصيده صار اللي هو y two thousand so we will use this equation y equals 3000 minus 250x and we will replace the y in our y 2000 equals 3000 minus 250x and we will solve the equation. So we will subtract 3000 or we take it to the other side. Same thing. 2000 minus 3000 is negative 1000 equals negative 250x divide both sides by negative 250 to cancel the, the, the factor of x and we will have to divide negative over negative positive x is equal to 1000 divided by 250 is 4 that means after four weeks Rashid balance will be 2000 dirhams Graph the equation by using intercepts. Now, the intercept, the equation is y equals 3000 minus 250x. This is the equation that we are going to graph. Using the intercept, يعني مقطع سين ومقطع صاد. x intercept, y intercept. So we need to find them. To find x intercept, we will set y zero. And we will solve the equation. So first, I will put the y equals to zero. And I will solve the equation. I can move this to the other side. 250x is 3000. I'm dividing both sides by 250. And when you divide, take the zeros away. 300 divided by 25 is 12. So x is 12. x is our x intercept. Now we will repeat the procedure to find y intercept. y intercept is found by setting x is zero and the situation is easier because when x is zero, this is canceled. So y is just 3000. And when we graph, we can change the scale. We can put here 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, 3000. We can change the scale whatever we want and here we can say 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 if x intercept is 12 that means i will use the green the one that i used for the x intercept i put 12 0 on the graph y intercept was uh, 3000 so this is my y intercept and then i will match my line will start and end here and i will not extend it why I cannot extend it? Why am I do? Because x represents number of weeks, عدد الأسابيع, and it will never be negative. Why is his balance, and we will not consider negative balance, negative amount of money. Now interpret the meaning of x intercept and y intercept in the context of the situation. يعني شو معنى x intercept to y intercept في المسألة هاي? When you say x intercept is twelve, twelve is paired with zero. 12 is x, which is number of weeks. That means after 12 weeks, his balance, which is in our situation y, will be zero. For the y-intercept, which is this one, y-intercept 
is 3,000. And it means that it is paired with 0x, 0x with 3,000. That means at the beginning, zero weeks, zero weeks, the yani beginning of this situation of uh, calculation, his balance is 3,000 dirhams. Perfect. Let's move to the other question. Hamad has 40 dirhams to buy rulers and pencils. So we have here rule, rulers, masatir, pencils, aqlam, rasas. Rulers cost five dirhams per piece. So this is five dirhams per piece. While pencils cost four dirhams per piece. Write an equation that relates the number of rulers X. So we will call rulers X number of pencils Y and find the X intercept Y intercept. What does the, these intercepts represent? Now, the budget total amount of money should not exceed 40 dirhams. This budget is 40 dirhams. So what will be the equation? The equation will be the 40 dirhams should be equal to the cost of buying rulers, which is five times X. And now five each ruler, each piece. We multiply by X to find the total amount plus the total money coming from pencil total price of pencils which is the same as for y so this is the equation now if you want to find x intercept then set y is zero setting y is zero that means this is cancelled we will cover that one so this will be 5x is equal to 40 and dividing by 5 means x is 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 six, seven, eight, at eight, we will have one point here. Now going back to the same equation and we will refer to the Y intercept with another color. So Y intercept means X is zero. So this is zero. Now we will have four Y is 40. We will restart the equation, of course, dividing and Y intercept is 10. So here, if you Name it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is my Y intercept. And when you match, you will have this graph. What does that mean? This means that if you don't have rulers, if you don't want to buy rulers, no rulers, means X is zero, means we are finding Y intercept, which is this one. So number of pencils will be 10. On the other hand, if you don't buy pencils, no pencils means Y zero, and that means X intercept. That means you will have eight rulers. This is the meaning of X intercept and Y intercept. Now, do you think that every line has both X intercept, Y intercept? In most of the cases, especially real life application, we had lines going this way, which has X intercept, Y intercept, or this way, also X intercept, Y intercept. It can also intersect the uh, negative part of the Y. It can go uh, this way, but there are some special cases we can have horizontal lines. In this case, if you have a horizontal line, something like this, which slope is zero, it has only Y intercept and no X intercept. It will not cross the X axis. Ma'ando crossing the X axis. On the other hand, also, if you have vertical line, it's not a function as we have discussed before, previous videos, this has X intercept, but no Y intercept. And these are the two special cases in lines. With that, we end this lesson. See you in the next video.